What up, everybody? It's your boy, El Fuzzo, back again with another Hot Sauce review and a comic book review. Um, hope everybody's having a good week, all that stuff. We, I, am trying today the Reaper Hot Sauce. This was sent to me by my good brother and member of the Comic Book Fiend Club, Mr. Ron Jam. Um... It had a really, really cool packaging. There was like a skeleton face and uh, you can see it in the picture, but it had like a hood. It looked like a Reaper, but unfortunately you have to take all that cool stuff off to get to the actual sauce. And today's book, oh man, I'm actually kind of excited about this, kind of. Um, I read The Silver Surfer Rebirth of Thanos Trade, which collects Silver Surfer's issues 34 through 37 and the uh, Thanos Quest issues one and two. So it's basically, um, ah, well, shit, we'll get into it here in a minute. We're here for the sauce, right? So let's go ahead and let's get this started. Okay, this is, this is actually funny because this sauce is called the Reaper. So hearing that title, you're like, hearing the name of the sauce, you're like, oh, Carolina Reaper sauce. Nope, not in this one. The two main peppers in this sauce are uh, habanero and ghost peppers. Um, there is no trace whatsoever of Carolina Reaper pepper in this sauce, which I was actually taken aback by. I really expected it to be a Reaper sauce, considering it's called the Reaper. But... As always, let's get into it. Let's talk a little bit about the sauce. Let's talk about the book. Ooh. Yep. It smells really good. Uh, it's definitely got like a smoky scent, which I've come to realize that most ghost pepper sauces tend to have that. You can definitely smell the... Uh, where is it? No, 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 no. I know there's... Yes, there is carrot in this. I can smell carrot. But, so here we go. Um, we're going to dive right in. We're going to talk about Silver Surfer, Rebirth of Thanos, which happens to be the very first Silver Surfer book I've ever read. Ever. So, let's get into it. It's got a stopper on it. So, there we go. Now we're getting some. Beep, beep, beep. All right. Cool. I hope everybody's having a good day. Hopefully, uh, all, all is well in the world of you. We are continuing our, our normal stuff for a couple more weeks now, and I've talked to quite a few people, so here soon I will start doing a lot more guests. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, I don't know exactly who the first guest is going to be. So let's go ahead and take a bite of this. Talk about some flavors, talk about the sauce a little bit, and then we will talk Silver Surfer Rebirth of Thanos and of my take. Here we go. Cheers, everybody. Get some on the backside, too. So I got a very slow build. Very slow building heat. You can feel it. And it's coming there. Um As for the flavor though, it's 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 a typical hot sauce type flavor. Not really getting a whole lot of um of any type of special flavor. Um it's very smooth. It's a very smooth sauce, um, not chunky, which is very weird because it's it's mash, habanero mash, ghost pepper mash. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out the heats a little bit because it's a slow burn. Let's see if a second bite kicks anything up.
not a super distinct flavor. Uh, it's got a very Chipotle kind of feel to it, very smoky. But nothing kind of jumps out. There's not really a lot of fruits. It's more of a vegetable base, uh, which is perfectly fine with hot sauces. Uh, tastes very good on chicken. Um, this would probably be a really nice, like, sauce to put on, like, a chicken sandwich or something like that. So, I definitely really, really like it. Um, here it again, if you want to order the Reaper, I'll obviously have the link in the, the bio of the video, as always. But I just want to read you guys real quick the uh, ingredients. Uh, habanero pepper mash, water, ghost pepper mash, carrot, white vinegar, white onion, lime juice, canola vegetable oil, capsium, olivarsin, salt, garlic, citric acid, and xanthan gum. See, there's so there's a lot in here, but I don't really get a lot of that coming through. It all blends together very well. But I don't really get a whole, whole lot of the flavor from it. But on to Silver Surfer, Rebirth of Thanos. This is my first forte into the character of Silver Surfer. Um, I know a little bit about Silver Surfer, not a whole, whole lot, you know, just kind of here and there. Never really been super interested in cosmic, cosmic characters, so I always kind of stayed away from him. Plus, he's a Marvel character, and I'm recently starting to wade into the waters of Marvel. Um, but I thought this book was pretty good. Um, I think primarily it is very Thanos-driven, more than it's surfer-driven, obviously. And I think that's really what made the book enjoyable to me. I think if I read a soul like Silver Surfer not taking on a big cosmic entity story. I don't know if I would vibe with it as much. I don't think the Silver Surfer is a terrible character. It's just not something that really interests me all that much. This book was written by Jim Starlin, and uh, all the art was done by Ron Lim, who, phenomenal artist, and phenomenal art. And the writing was fantastic. Um, but this basically takes place before the Infinity Gauntlet story. Like, the Silver Surfer, the Rebirth story is basically Thanos coming back from the dead um, relies very heavily on his relationship with death and it's it starts the ball rolling until you get to Thanos quest which is the tale of Thanos gaining all of the uh, infinity stones which he names infinity stones because they are called soul stones and he changes it and he'd rather call them infinity stones but long and short of it um we've all i mean most of us anyway have seen the uh uh infinity war and everything you know the marvel movies we've all seen it i personally feel that this story told a much better more in-depth um take on that whole how it all plays out rather than the movies did but Hollywood's got to do Hollywood and you can't really throw in characters that haven't been in movies for eight years so I get it um as for like the Silver Surfer portion it collects issues okay so it's a trade so it collects issues Silver Surfer 34 to 37 and it collects the two issues of Thanos Quest I think I already said that but I'm not sure but this, as for the Silver Surfer portion of it, uh, I think the story was really cool. Um, like I said, I think it was very Thanos-driven more than Silver Surfer-driven, which is, for me, it was fine. It was great because I, I very much so like the character of Thanos. Um, I think it's that weird uh, villain that has a very interesting you know, plot. Um, so I really enjoyed that. And it was really, really cool reading the Thanos quest as well in, incorporated in this trade because I, I finally got to read the story of the Infinity Stones and how he came about getting them and everything. But it, it was really nice character study on Thanos, more so than really a Silver Surfer, even though it was a Silver Surfer, dubbed a Silver Surfer book. Um... But we'll go ahead, we'll get into the ratings and everything like that. Uh, we'll go with the sauce first. Uh, the Reaper. Caught me off guard with the name because I expected there to be Carolina Reapers in here. 
uh, no reapers to be found, habanero peppers and ghost peppers. Um, as for the heat, um, for me personally, I would put this at a four or five because it's a slow burn. It doesn't hit you right away. I mean, you feel it as soon as you eat the sauce, but it, it's a slow build. It's not something that just burns you right, right away. Like you, you eat it and you're like, ah, you know, like you're good because it's a build. Um, so I'd say the heat, I give a four or five for me. Um, I don't, as uh, per the flavor, um, I'm not a huge fan. Um, I've been eating a lot of hot sauces for a long time now. And I really like flavorful sauces, um, but there's not really enough of a chipotle flavor from this to give me that nice chipotle barbecue-ish kind of vibe. And there's not enough like garlic to give me a garlic vibe. I mean, it's all it's all together very very well, but it it, it literally is like a basic hot sauce flavor. Nothing really makes it shine or anything like that. Um, I liked it. Um, but I would have to say on a flavor, I give it probably like a four because the flavor is not bad. It's not bad by any means necessary. It's just, I've had a lot of hot sauces that, that are very much so more flavorful. So heat four out of five or four or five out of 10, uh, flavor four, solid four out of 10. Um, as for the book, uh, Silver Surfer, The Rebirth of Thanos Trade, um, honestly, I really enjoyed the read. Um, I am not crazy about Silver Surfer. If you are, that's awesome. Looking at you, Evan. Rock on. Will. You too. Um, awesome. Uh, just doesn't jive with me as a character. Um, Thanos really spoke volumes to me in this book, so I would say this is a solid 7 out of 10 for me. Um, I didn't hate it. I didn't dread having to read it. I, I never suffered through it once. I was very enthralled by the story, but like I said, for me, it was very Thanos-driven, so that's the, the part that I gravitated towards. But uh, that's all for me this week. Um, make sure you uh, like and subscribe, if you have not, to the El Fuzzo Hot Sauce and Comic Book Review channel, which is this one, maybe. Or, if you haven't yet, the Comic Book Fiend Club YouTube Make sure you check out all the other content creators that are, are affiliated with the Comic Book Fiend Club and everything like that. There's tons of stuff, man. Tons of stuff. There's figure reviews. There's statue unboxings. There's death nut challenges that we all survived, obviously. I'm still eating hot shit, so I didn't learn my lesson yet. But, uh, yeah, just definitely support, 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 support. And you guys have a great day. Also, check out the podcast that I'm a part of, Two Guys, One Moo. We have a lot of fun on there, and we talk bullshit for about an hour. Every Monday, new episodes drop. So, thank you guys. Have a great day. Booyah! <laughs>